So I wanna try to see if I can mark on stainless steel with the Embrillance marking spray. It's similar to the um, Ceramark. And I'm gonna use a stainless steel scraper that I got from the Dollar Tree. I kinda just had it laying around the house. So I'm gonna to try to use this because I actually tried to do it on some aluminum jewelry that I had brought, like dog tags, name tags, that I'd gotten from Michaels and that didn't turn out too well. It didn't adhere. Um, all the way only on some of my thicker fonts. So we're going to give this a try. So this is how the aluminum jewelry um, turned out and only the bold fonts seem to stick. So I just found this little scraper thing upstairs and I'm going to try this because this is stainless steel and it's from the dollar store. It's one of the stainless steel um, chopper scrapers and I'll put a picture up so you can see it. But I'm going to go ahead and try this since the product was actually meant to be used on stainless steel. Let's see if we get better results. Okay, so I'm going to spray this. The last time I only sprayed it twice. This time I'm going to spray it four times good. But it says you shouldn't be able to see it. So we're going to do, that's going to be considered one time. And I'm going to kind of let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to come back and do two more times. One more time. Just grab up my design in the middle so that's where I'm trying to focus. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to let that dry a few seconds and then I'm going to give it one last hit. So I'm going to get this ready while that's drying. We're going to use the um, black iPhone 7 setting and um, it's gonna be engraving and we're gonna use the HD engrave. So here's my design and I'm just waiting for that to dry and then I'll load the item and center it on there. So this is my final spray. This will be my third time. And I'm going to leave this for about three minutes. And then I'll go ahead and load it onto the Glowforge bed. So it's on there. It's nice and dry. And we're going to get ready to send the image over. So here's the image. I'm going to just take it down. Place it here. I don't want it like too big, but I want to be able to see it. So let's see. I might reduce it based on... Um, how long it's going to take so again i'm using the black iphone setting and i have it for engrave under the engrave it's the hd engrave and this was just set up i didn't uh do anything i feel like it could have used full power so i'm gonna go ahead and increase that because i felt like that might have had something to do with the fact that um it didn't um, stay on, uh, including the fact that it wasn't stainless steel. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and say print. Let's see how long it's gonna take. It's moving back there. Let's see what we got. Come on. It says I'm in a fast lane, but I don't feel like it. Okay, that's not bad. So it's going to be 10 minutes and 29 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put it on time lapse so you can see it happen. Okay, let's see what happens this time with the water. Here. It keeps it because it's just taken off the white. Oh, wait a minute. 
Maybe I got frustrated too soon. Okay. So it did stay on here, guys. Thank you. Because I was feeling a little bit defeated there. Okay, I'm going to just clean this up now and I'm going to come back. So we just did our first project using the Brilliance Marking Spray. We marked a stainless steel chopper from the Dollar Tree using our Glowforge and a large font. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get future notifications. Thanks as always for watching Crystal's Diversa Creations.